Good evening, guys. Welcome to Pilates. I'm Jennifer, and we're gonna work your core a little bit today. That'll be fun, right? So hopefully you've had a lovely day with a long, tall, lifted spine. You, those shoulders pulled back, and you've been reaching your ears up to the sky all day. Let me turn that down just a smudge. There we go. That's better. Good, so with that long, tall spine, we're gonna to work to do a little bit of breathing, and then we're gonna get some core work done for the rest of your day, right? So that you can think about everything that we do here, and you can take it into the world out there, right? All right, so lift up, shoulders over hips, hands wherever you would like, and let's go ahead and breathe. So that's envision that you've got that nice, tight pair of pants on, the one that holds everything in from your belly button down. So all the breath, happens up here in the rib cage. So let's go ahead and breathe in. Inhale, expand those ribs side to side. And then as you exhale, the ribs come together and that tummy stays put. So again, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, close up the ribs. Do it again. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, close it up. One more time. Inhale, breathe in and exhale, close up. So just by breathing, everything is nice and still. I'm gonna rotate to the side for just a moment. I spend a lot of time talking about your mouse house, right? And that's that space when we're down on our backs that is underneath your mid back. So right here, I've got a straight spine, my shoulders are over my hips. A lot of times when we sit like this, we've got a tendency to lean forward, right? And even when you're leaning forward just a little bit, it still feels like you're straight. So it's really important to think about your posture and lifting up and placing the shoulders over the hips as you lift and lengthen. So your mouse house, right? We've got that nice natural curve in that mid back, right? That little, that little curve there. So a lot of times, instead of perhaps hinging forward, it's even easier for us to go ahead and really arch and push that mid back forward. But really, we need to think about that long length and posture even as we are reclining on your mat. So in order to protect your back, and of course, we need to squeeze that tummy, and then a lot of the exercises that we do, push that mid back down into the mat. Not jam it down there, but just press it down into the floor so that we can protect your spine. So that'll make a lot more sense when we come down on your back, but I wanted to, to just talk about it here. So when I'm talking about your mouse house, some people call it your powerhouse, some people have different names for it. What I wanna make sure that you don't have is I don't want you to really arch forward. There's no big arch in your back. That's a mouse house and we don't want a mouse house. We need to keep everything pulled in nice and tight. All right, we're gonna come down on your backs. It just occurred to me, it would have been really helpful if I told you what we were using today, right? Um, I've got one light weight. You can always modify, pick up something around the house. Um, I do have a band. I've got a stretchy band. And I wanted to do just a little bit with rotator cuff with that today. So if you don't have a stretchy band, you can do the same exercise without it. I'll talk you through that. And I do have a hoop. Do not worry if you don't have a hoop. We're just gonna use, uh, use this for a little bit of inner thigh work. So you can grab perhaps a pillow um, or, uh, or something light lying around the house and just squeeze it. Even a roll of toilet paper will work just fine. We're gonna work those inner thighs later. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and come down onto those mats. Let me turn that down just a little bit more, I think. There we go. Not too much. There, excellent. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and roll down onto your mats. We're in a neutral spine position. So right now, that does mean a mouse house, right? With that neutral spine, we've got that little itty bitty curve underneath that mid back. Let's go ahead and de-mouse house it. Take your tailbone and scoop up your tailbone. As we scoop up that tailbone, that mid back presses down into the floor. Again, you're not jamming it down, you're just pressing it in a little bit. Go ahead and release. One more time, a little scoop of the tailbone. Push that mid back down into the floor, right? Big difference there. So let's go ahead and release and we're gonna start with a little pulse to come forward. So inhale, breathe in. Exhale, curl it up, head, neck and shoulders off the mat, lifting those arms, pressing forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, 10, nine, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, pulse it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it at the top, squeeze in that tum-tum, and go ahead and lower down. No problem, right? No problem. Park those hands on your mat, pull one knee up over a hip, pull the other knee up over the hip. And we're just gonna right here in this position, notice your mid back pressing down into the floor. No mouse house at all. Reach your toes to the floor, one leg at a time. Increase that angle between your thigh and your core. So we exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, and inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more sets, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale. Fantastic, relax for just a moment. We're gonna glue both legs together and we're gonna do the same thing. Chances are your toes are not gonna to touch the floor because I don't want you to arch your back. Right here, mid back, press down, pressing down into the mat, no mouse house. And we're only gonna lower those legs as far as you can while maintaining that non-mouse house situation. So here we go, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. And let's go, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale. Very nice, relax, set those feet on the mat. So right here, all of this work, we've got to squeeze in your tum-tum. We want to make sure that we're not squeezing through the quads in order to take the pressure off the core, right? If you're feeling a little bit of tension in your quads, don't worry, that's normal. We all do it to some extent, but that means you really need to think every time we are doing anything, any kind of core exercise, really squeeze into the tum-tum. Tum-tum is always working. That's why no matter how slow, how basic your Pilates class is, you're always working, always working. So. Let's right here, park those paws on the mat and reach those legs up to the sky, easy peasy. I just want you to point your toes as hard as you can. Point those toes and then flex the feet. Nice, once again, toes point and toes flex. So I've got my heels connected. I'm in a nice first position. And again, point the toes. If you can, zip up through your inner thighs, mush those inner thighs together and flex. One more time, point and flex. No problem, right? Curl the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. You can hover your arms here above the floor if you'd like. And let's go ahead and squeeze into that tummy. And again, point and flex. Again, point and flex. Squeeze your tongue one more time, point and flex. Lower down. Take a breath, and we're gonna see if we can't lower those legs just a bit more, maybe out to 45. Again, you do what you can. You push that mid back down to the floor and you squeeze up that tummy. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, curl it up, cover the arms if you can, and lower the legs, point really hard. Flex. A little bit of shaking, right? Come on, point. And flex, you got one more, you can do it. Be strong, lift your shoulder blades, boy. And flex. Oh, that's nice and miserable, yes? Lift up tall, with those legs, bend those knees, and go ahead here, park those feet on that mat. Lovely, I'm gonna grab a weight, right? Just a nice light weight. I happen to have five pounds here. If you've got something lighter, that would be really ideal. So, knees are bent, feet are on that mat. I'm gonna take my right arm, place it on the floor, palm face down. I'm gonna reach that, le or that weight in my left hand up over my shoulder. So, tummy is squeezing. 
I'm gonna reach this arm and this weight across my body and I'm gonna come up. I'm not coming up very far, I'm not coming up all the way. I'm just coming up enough to the point where I am curling and I'm leaning into that oblique a little bit. And this weight, this weighted hand, it's not reaching across, it's just right here. It's a little bit of momentum to help you come up and over, but it's also, so it makes it a little bit easier. But as you do this exercise, make sure you're not reaching that weight back here. Start this weight here over the shoulder. So squeeze in through that tongue, right hand on the floor to press down to help you out a little bit. And we'll take that breath, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Here we go. Press it over. 10, nine, no problem. Eight, squeezing into that right oblique. Seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Fantastic. Swap that weight into that other hand. So I've got my left hand on the floor and that weight starts here up and over my shoulder and that's exactly where it finishes as well. So inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. Squeeze your tummy. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, fantastic. Bring that weight down. Go ahead and set both or by that weight on the floor. I'm just gonna park mine out next to me. Fantastic, so we're here. Let's move on to the 100. We're gonna move through the 100. Your choice of position, leave the feet on the floor, pull the knees up to tabletop, or extend the legs out to 45. Pumping the air with the arms. You do what you need to do. I'll go ahead and leave my feet on the floor. Choose your position. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, curl it up. Hover the arms. Here we go. Inhale, two, four, and five. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. And inhale, two, three, four, and five. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. And inhale. And exhale, and inhale. And exhale, and inhale. And exhale, and inhale. And exhale, and inhale. And exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. And exhale and inhale. Two, three, four, and five. And exhale, two, three, four, and five. And hold it. Feel that mid back press into the mat. No mouse house. And release. Neutral spine. Mouse house, right? Excellent. So pick up that weight once again, and let's do that same exercise we just did. We're gonna reach that weight across the body, working into your obliques. Squeeze your tum-tum, right paw on the floor. Inhale, breathe in, and let's go. You just have 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four Z's, three, two, and one. Very nice. Swap it out. I've got that weight now in my right hand. Let's go ahead and reach it across the other side. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Back we go. Let's go ahead and park that weight on the floor. Very nice. And we're going to move on to some roll ups. So let's extend those legs down and out along your mat, right? You can modify. We're going to reach the arms up to the sky and we're going to slowly today peel that spine off the floor, curl it up to the top. Very nice. And then we're just going to slowly scoop, round and roll back to the bottom of your mat. If you've got that weight nearby, your pillow, something just to give you that sense of added weight, let's start by putting it in your paws. It starts here, it finishes here, it never reaches back this way. If you need to, bend your knees, that's no problem. I'm gonna make sure that your heels are not terribly close to your glutes though. You need to give yourself some room to scoop and curl up. So, all right, all of that did not count. Let's go, you've got 10 of these. Begin. Take your time, peel that spine off the mat, and then just roll it back down to the floor. Finish up after 10. Take your time, right? If I move on and you're not done, you just hit pause. Lovely. Good job, guys. Come on and breathe. I have one more. When you finish your 10, go ahead and just set that weight somewhere nearby. Fantastic. Good job. All right, let's go ahead here. We're gonna pull those knees right on into that chest of yours. So let's go ahead and pull those knees in. Lovely. I'm going to scoot forward a bit. We're going to do a couple of roll overs. So it's just the reverse of what we just did. Legs are up to the sky. So I'm going to scoop my legs out. Uh, you can take them out to 45, but only take them as low as you can where you do not have a mouse house, right? And we're going to take those legs out there. And then we're going to scoop, roll back, lifting your hips up off the floor and really pressing those palms down into the mat. And we're going to slowly roll down to that mat. So your palms are here for a little bit of leverage to help you roll down. You have five of these. Let's go. Your feet do not have to touch the floor behind you. Not at all. And if you can only work to push those palms into the mat and lift the hips off the floor a little bit, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure you take your time rolling those hips back down to the mat. So you finish up your five, squeezing your tummy. Very nice. I think that was five for me. I was running my mouth a little bit. So, all right, we're gonna add on to this. If you need to stick with what you just did, you most certainly can. But if you're feeling a little fancy today, and I'm pretty sure you are, we're gonna change this to a jackknife. So, as we come out and back, it's all the same, but then once we roll back, I want you to lift the legs up just a little bit, 
Hold that lift, use your hands, and roll to that mat. The most important thing here, I roll back and I lift the legs, but I don't let them drop and come down. So check this out. So here we are back. Once you lift the legs, you hold this lift, hold the lift, then roll down. This is very tough. What I want you to try not to do is to scoop back, lift up, and then drop and roll, right? So the jackknife has the roll back, the lift of the legs, holding that lift, and rolling down. So that was a lot of me running my mouth. Again, that's what I do. That's what Pilates is all about, so we can get you into the correct place. So try five of these, right? So back, lift into jackknife, squeeze, hold that lift, and roll down. You've got your hands here on that floor, use them. Try not to let those legs drop. This is very challenging. But I'm pretty sure you can do it. <laughs> Let's go back. And I'm pretty sure you have one more, right? Take it back, lift it up. Don't you let those legs drop and roll down. Once you come on down, hug those knees into your chest. Maybe rock a little bit. That was super tough, but it was all good, right? All right, look, our ankles are already crossed. You can pick up that weight, position it over your chest, just where it was before, and all we're gonna do is rock and roll those knees towards your shoulders. Let's go ahead and lift. That's all. Lift, rock and lift those little hips. Excellent. Fantastic. So we're gonna take a couple of more of these and then we're gonna get stuck in that lifted position. In order to get stuck there, you're gonna have to squeeze in your core a little bit, right? So let's just rock for four, three, two, one. Now rock and stay, hold it there, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it, do it again, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, rock and hold, stay. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it, one more time, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, rock it back, stay. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and rest it. Lovely. Untangle those legs, and let's go ahead and set that weight back on that mat. Lovely. That was tough. So, we've done the roll up. Let's have just a little bit of fun here before I add on to it, right? Let's go ahead and reach just your right leg up to the sky. Reach up, go ahead and grab that leg, and while we're here, point your toes, flex the foot, ah, point the toes, flex the foot, and one more time, we've got a nice little hammy stretch here, and flex that foot, lovely. Point those toes as best you can. Go ahead and reach that leg forward, maybe out to 45 degrees or so. It can be up a little higher if you'd like. We're gonna extend those arms to the sky, and now I want you to do the roll up without touching that leg. So squeeze in that tongue and take a breath and then go ahead and roll up towards that leg. Grab that leg, sit up straight, nice straight spine. Good, and go ahead and hinge forward. Drop your head maybe closer to that leg. Lift up, reach those arms out and roll back down. Nice, lower the leg. So really that's just our half teaser, yeah? Left leg, reach it out, park it there. Yes, take a breath, scoop, round and roll up to the top. That's tough, I know, grab that leg. Lift up through that spine. 
Take that head closer to that leg. Lift up, reach those arms out, and roll back down. Lovely. One more time each side. Right leg goes up, out to 45, take a breath. You can bend it, that's okay. And let's go ahead and scoop, leave that leg in park. As you come on up to it, lift up, nice straight spine. Give it a little forward fold here. Lift up, leg parks. We roll back down. Fantastic. Park up that left leg. Stay right there. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, scoop it up. Then we grab that leg. Lift up tall, nice straight spine. And curl it over. Lift it up, release that leg. And down we go. Lovely. Lower that down. So, you're thinking, really, we're going to add on to this? We are, indeed. <laughs> Park your hands on that mat. Let's go ahead and reach your right leg up to the sky. We've got some leg circles. So let's leave your left leg on the ground. Leave your hands on the floor. Let's make those leg circles just the leg moves. That is the only thing that moves. Keep everything nice and still. Take a breath. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. And let's go swoop it around and out for five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. All right, come on. You guys look like you're feeling really fancy today. So park those arms out to the side. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Hover that left leg above the floor. Two and two. Let me get this right arm out of the way. So here we go. One, two. Reverse it. One, two. That leg is forward. Leave this left leg hovering off the floor. Same thing as before. Up we go. Lower that leg. Straight spine. Hinge it. Lift it. Reach it and roll it. That was so much fun, right? Let's go ahead and park that leg on the floor. So I'm going to angle it just a little bit here. Left leg to the sky. And we've got those five circles. Hands on the mat, head on the mat, belly squeezing. Inhale, breathe in. Nothing moves but that leg. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Let's change it. Hover the arms. Curl it up. Hover that right leg. Oh my goodness. Let's go keep it still. One, two. Reverse it. One, and two. Hover that right leg. Reach out the left. Use your tummy. Curl it up. Grab that leg. Set that right leg down, lift up straight, hinge it, lift it, reach, and roll. Oh, lovely. That was fun, right? We should do more of those, maybe later. So while you're here, go ahead and grab your pillow, your, uh, your squishy little tube, maybe a, a couple of pillows, right? We're just going to bring them here, right here between those inner thighs. And all I want you to do is just pulse, pulse. Work the inner thighs. Itty bitty pulse, right? Still squeezing the tummy and you're in a neutral spine position. Pulse, 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 pulse. Little itty bitty pulse. Now bring it in. Hold it there nice and tight. Squeeze it. Still squeezing soft shoulders. And then right here, a little faster with pulse. So we have, we've just got pulse, 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 pulse. Keep moving. Pulse it for three, two, 
and one. Rest it. Lovely. Deep pillow, whatever you have. Go ahead and set it on over to the side. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get through that series of five. Right, five exercises, 10 reps of each. We will just move through it. And we'll come back to this position. It's where we can rest. It's quick, only about two minutes. Two minutes of fun, it'll be fine, I promise. So inhale, breathe in, pull those knees up to tabletop as you breathe out. Again, inhale, breathe in, curl it up, up prep, reach out that left leg, swap it, single leg stretch. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, both knees in, double leg stretch out and in, and out and in, easy peasy, out and in, out and in. You have six. In, five, in, four, in, three, in, two, in. Support your head and neck if you need to. One, in, right leg up, left leg hovers, scissors. Ten, ten, nine, nine, six, you gotta breathe. Five, four, Three, two, one. Lovely. Support that head, double leg lowers. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. This is tough. Exhale, inhale, no mouse house. Six, up, five, up, four. Knees bend, bicycle, crisscross, 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. Rest it down. You made it. No problem. No problem at all. Park one foot on the mat. Park the other foot on the mat hands down beside you, press those hips up into a nice little bridge pose. Let's squeeze up your glutes and just push those hips to the sky. Pulse and lift, that's all. Up, 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 up. Squeeze your glutes. Press, press, press. All you have is four, three, two, and one. Nice. Stay at the top. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale, lower down. Excellent. You might want to hug those knees into your chest. Give it a nice little scoopy scoop and rest it. We're gonna make some rainbows and some smiley faces. So, extend out those legs, down and out along your mat. In order to lift ourselves up to the top today, you know what we should do? We should do exactly what we did before. So, reach out that right leg, hover that left leg above the floor, reach the arms up to the sky, take a breath, curl it up, half teaser, yeah? Stay with those legs right there and release. Roll it back down. Oh, that was nice. Let's do the other leg. We don't want to short out this left leg. So reach out that left leg, hover that right leg, arms to the sky, squeeze your tum tum, curl it up. Lovely. Legs on the mat. Let's go ahead and give just a little bit of a shake there to those legs. And we're going to make smiley faces with your legs, right? So that's just this movement right here. We finished the smiley faces. We're gonna make some rainbows. So that's just the opposite movement, that's all. Legs are gonna be glued together. We're gonna be in elbow scoop. So come on down. There's our elbow scoop position. Make sure you don't mushify your shoulders and your ears together. 
So up we go, inhale, breathe in. Pull those knees in, very nice. Inhale again, exhale out, lower the legs. Here we go, happy face. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, center, rest. Same thing, only now let's make those rainbows. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in. Legs go out, let's go. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and rest. In we go up to the top, hug those legs, hinge it forward. And excellent, up tall. Good, we're gonna do a little rolling like a ball. I'm gonna take that music down just a smudge now that I've come up to see that. There we go, there we go, just a smudge down. Fantastic. All right, so let's do instead the seal. Take your hands, reach those guys underneath your legs, pick up your feet, here are your flippers, clap your flippers three times. One, two, three, rock back, flippers. Look at your tummy, flippers, 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 to the top, flippers, flippers, flippers. Let's go, one, two, three. One, two, three. Clap your flippers. Maybe one more time. Lovely. Park those feet on the mat, hinge forward. Good stretch through the back, breathing and into those hips there. And then we will scoop, round and roll up to the top. Check in with your spine, no arch in that mid back. Lovely, draw those legs together. Reach those legs forward. We're gonna do a spine stretch. So you can always do this one up against the wall. If you've got a towel or a band or even a really light weight nearby, pick it up. I'm just gonna reach it forward. Just like that, a little bit of space between my hands. And it's just, it's just to give you something to hang on to, right? We don't want a tremendous amount of weight here. So for our spine stretch, we're gonna envision that you are up against a wall and everything from your pants line down to that floor stays put. The movement happens from the upper body all the way into that belly button. So we're trying to reach forward, reaching those fingertips out beyond your toes holding your object, wherever it is, right? And at the same time, squeezing into that tummy as if there's something right here and you're just rounding over it. But at the same time, you're squeezing everything in. So you're gonna feel this in your shoulders, in your back, in your core, in your everything. So reach that weight, that band, that strap, something out in front of you. You can even pick up a sock, something just to hang on to, right? Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in, pitch the nose, and here we go, tuck and reach for four, three, two, one, roll it up, up, lift your ears, tuck and reach, two, three, and four, roll it up, up to the top, tuck and reach, two, three, and four, roll it up, up, lift, 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 tuck and reach, two, three, Four, roll it up, up, you should feel your tummy working, tuck in, reach, two, three, and four, and up, keep your pants line on the wall, tuck in, reach, two, three, and four, roll it up, 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 it's as if I'm pulling your hands forward, out, and reach, roll it up, up, the more I reach, the more you have to squeeze your tongue, reach, two, three, and four, roll it up, up to our left, tuck in, reach, two, three, and four, roll it up, up, lift your ears, last time, four, three, two, and one, roll it up, up to the top. Relax those arms, should be feeling it there. Good, all right, 
Since I've got my stretchy band, let's just do a little bit of work um, for your rotator cuff and then we'll come down and we'll get your legs. So if you don't have a stretchy band today, don't worry, it's all good. If you do have a stretchy band, let's go ahead and sit on it. And I'm gonna bring uh, most of it to one side of my body. So I've just got a little tiny tail over here that doesn't matter. But whatever side of the body that band is in, I want you to cross the body. So cross the body, hold it in that hand. This elbow glues, it glues itself to this side. So all I'm gonna do here is just reach the band over across the body. That's all I'm doing, but my elbow doesn't go anywhere. If you don't have any sort of stretchy band with you, same thing, you can perform the movement just like this. Reach out through your fingertips and we are just opening a little bit. If you have a light weight, it's okay to put a light weight in your hands, no more than two or three, all right? Certainly not a lot, not a lot. Even three is probably a little bit too much. So one or two pounds, or maybe you've got your water bottle, right? Water bottle, that would be fine as well. So whatever is happening, we need to sit up tall. Your legs can be out in front of you as well, that's fine. Elbow glued down to that side. We're only gonna do 30 of these. So squeeze your belly, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, open up, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and rest. That's all. So even if you had nothing, sending your energy out through those fingertips or with that light weight, should have felt a little bit of warmth up into that shoulder girdle. Not too much though, by now, everything should feel fine, right? All right, if you've got a band, slide it here underneath you. Have a seat right on top of it, and you just wanna keep it secure. If your band is over here, let's go ahead and put it in that opposite hand this elbow, down it goes to the side. Lift up tall, take a breath, inhale, breathe in, and let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest it. Lovely. That's all. D-band. Kick your band to the side. Check in with your tummy. Roll out your shoulders if you need to. And then from here, we're going to flip over onto your side. So doesn't matter which. I'm going to bring my uh, music device forward so we can do just a little bit of timing with these legs today. Right? You don't have to listen to me count. <laughs> so come on down onto your side. Let's go ahead and bend those knees. We're going to do just a little bit of lifting of that top leg. We're going to do a little bit of clamming and then we're going to extend the legs out and we're going to do a little bit of devil pay. So there's that flex again. We're going to bring this leg in, scoop it in, and then squeeze it down. As you squeeze it down, those inner thighs are gonna squeeze together. But first, we have that full leg lift. All right, so let me get our little timing device here. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Easy peasy, where is it? Oh, there we go, okay, good, excellent. So the stopwatch, put that ear down on that arm, squeeze in that tummy, top leg lifts, begin, 30 seconds only. Excellent. Just a little lifty left. Nice and smooth. Pull this oblique on the floor up into the body. Clams are coming. That means we're going to attach those feet to each other. And then just lift that top knee. Fantastic. Feet down and just that top knee lifts up. As you lift, make sure those hips don't move, right? 
Body stays still. And we just lift that top leg. Lovely. Very soon, we're gonna extend out those legs and find that double peg. Five seconds to be precise. Excellent. Legs reach out slightly piped. In, up, flex, squeeze the inner thighs. You don't have to go super quick, quickly, right? We're just drawing it in and squeezing it down. Lovely. Draw it in, squeeze it down. Squeeze. I may not have mentioned it, but you're going a little bit longer here than 30 seconds. Squeeze and lift. Mush it down. And in a moment, we're going back to those clams. Beautiful. Bend those knees and clam it. 30 seconds more of clams. Full range, really lift that top knee. And very soon we're gonna finish with that full lift. Almost there, guys. Excellent, lifty, lifty, that's all. Fifteen seconds. Be strong. Be brave. Five seconds. Hang in there. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest it. Give it a little pat. That always feels nice. And then from here, let's just scoop up those arms and we just got a little bit of a crunch. Let's go. Mush it for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up here. Just give it a little pause right here, just for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down and let's do one lovely banana or banana, right? We're feeling minion-y today. Take that top arm, place it on that hip, bottom hand presses down into the floor, squeeze your tummy, and we lift up into banana. Find your balance, stay here, up go those ears, and rest it down. Excellent. Flip over to that tum-tum, down to the tum-tum. Park your hands on your mat, just out in front of your shoulders a little bit. Let's bring a little bit of space between those knees, not too much. Let's just do a double kick, and then we're gonna press up into swan. So flex the feet, kick, kick those glutes, and lift up into swan, tight derriere. Let's go, kick, kick, swan, kick, kick, swan, kick, kick, swan, Kick, kick, two more. Kick, kick, and press last time. Kick, kick, stay at the top. Chin to the chest. Chin to the sky. Chin forward to the right and to the other right. Beautiful, back to the center, release it down. Press yourselves up and back, and let's just stretch into a nice shell. So stretch out your back, widen your knees a little bit, and stretch it out. Nice, bring it in, roll it up, check in with your tummy. Tummy should be strong, and pulled in, and we've got a flip to that second side of yours. So over we go, second side. 
however you get there is just fine. Very nice. So we've reset our timer. Everything is 30 seconds except that double pay. So these are in. First thing we have the full range, then we have clams, then we have double pay. So are you ready? Ear on the arms, squeeze the belly, begin. Lift and lower, that's all. Lift and lower. We're getting there, guys. Strong, strong core. Very nice. Clams are coming. Three, two, one. Glue the feet together, top knee lifts, clams. Clammy clams. Good job, guys. So those devil pays are coming. We're gonna need to straighten out those legs and pike them a little bit forward in about 10 seconds. No problem. This first round, right? Easy peasy. How about one more? Send those legs out and double pay, right? Flex the foot at the top and then squeeze those inner thighs. In and up and squeeze. Lovely. Mush, mush, mush on the way down as if you're zipping up through those inner thighs. Halfway there. Almost there, 10 seconds. Beautiful, bend those knees, time for clams. Lift and lower. So we have clams and then we have full range. Where we lift that entire leg. Ten seconds. Perfect. Full range. Finish it up. Are you feeling it yet? I am. Fifteen seconds. seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, bring it down. Give it a little pat. Excellent. So from here, scoop it up. We've just got a nice ugly crunch. Let's go ahead and lift them lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stay at the top, we've got a little pulse. No, do we hold? We pulse, I don't know, pulse it out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it. And release it, and then we have one banana. So straighten out those legs, bottom hand on that mat, top hand on that hip, squeeze in your tum tum, press down, lift up and hold. Hold in that banana. There we go, there we go. Are you thinking plank rocker? That's what I'm thinking. Take a breath. Lower down, tummy flip. Very nice. So we're on that tummy. You're gonna come on up into the perfect push-up. We'll stop our timing device there. So remember, your perfect push-up does not look like an inchworm, right? It is not this. Right? Just, and likewise, the reverse. It is not letting go of the back, right? Because what happens there? What happens there is if we do this, right? As we come up into push up, right here, my back is arched. If you were to flip me over, I'd have a major mouse house. We don't have control of that core at all. 
So if you're gonna come on up to your knees or your toes, it matters not. All your push-up is is a moving plank. So from this position, hands under shoulders, tummy is in, derriere is mushified, yes? Tailbone is slightly tucked under, just a little bit. All we do is take a breath and then we just whoop, push the floor away, that's all. Yeah, so I can do that to my knees and I can also come on up to my toes. Your choice, right? If we come up to our toes, it looks like this. Maybe gonna make me work for it and help me then. Exhale, push the floor away. There, we're up on our toes. Bellies are in, plank rocker, forward and back on your toes. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in the center, inhale, breathe in and exhale, lower down. Did you do a good job? Was your push-up perfect? I know it was. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, press up and back, stretch into shell. One more time with our shell. Then we'll come on up, check in with that core. As always, have a seat. Let's do some Russian twist. My favorite, everything's my favorite. Take a weight or something into your hands. Park your feet on the mat, lift tall. Squeeze those knees together. If you've got something nearby, you can park. Oops, I dropped my weight there. You can just park it right there between your knees. Maybe you've got your pillow. Maybe you've got um, something just to give you a little sense of squeeze. Maybe you've got a little ball, right? Right here, hinge back, let's rush and twist. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, center, and release. That was very nice. Take your pillow, your hoop, your ball away, and Let's go ahead and do one more fun thing. Park those arms forward, lift those feet up off the floor, roll down, take a breath, exhale down. Don't let, you let, don't let those legs move, those legs are in park. And then leaving those legs here, curl it up. Legs are still in park. They're not moving, they're staying right there. So this is our teaser. We did the half teaser, We're full teasering it. Roll it down, legs are in park. Up, oof, in park, right? You can set your feet on the floor to do this if you're not quite ready for teaser, but I'm pretty sure whatever you're doing, you can do another one. Let's go, leave the legs down and up. If you are feeling super mega fancy, let's go. Down and up. How about one more? One, and up. Lovely, feet on the mat, you made it. Bring those legs here into mermaid. Let's rock out that hip, lift and lower. Nice. Good, bring that hip to the center, scoop away from your mermaid tail. And towards and away and towards lovely to the center take those legs over to the other side rock and roll that opposite hip lift and lower breathing fantastic scoop it away and towards and one more time away. And towards. Lovely. To the center, lift up tall, shoulders over hips. Go ahead, lengthen out that body nice and long. Our music just finished, so that must mean that it's time for us to finish up here, right? So your body has had some alignment work, right? 
you've had some brain work, Pilates is the thinking man's exercise because we have to think about where everything is. We have to really concentrate to hold everything in position. So good for the bodies, good for the brain, good for everything that you do out there in the world, right? So be sure tomorrow, later on today, think about where you're moving, think about how you are moving, and always think about your alignment. So good job today, guys. Take that breath, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, close up the ribs. One more time, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, close up the ribs. Fantastic. Keep it all nice and strong. Thank you so much for Pilatesing with me today. I cannot wait to see you guys in person. So take care, be strong, and get your vitamin D, right? Finish up, go wash your paws. We'll see you soon. Take care, namaste. Hi guys, Jennifer here with Cheddar, reminding you as always to go wash your paws. Thanks for pulling in your core with me today and Cheddar too. We'll see you soon, bye-bye.